All right. Um, let me lower my mic. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this was unplanned. I just felt like doing something like streaming this tonight. This is the altar where the sacred sword Kutone was enshrined. The great view of Lao Chai Lake and Ezo Fuji. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It said the Ark has been frozen in Lao Chai Lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it down there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. As a Fuji in the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place for the Oena tribe. There it is. It's this whole giant ship. So yeah, we're here in the north, uh, looking for a lost little girl, and we were told to come see the person who lived on the north shore of the lake. that whole uh, ridge along the left side. Yeah, this is unplanned. I just felt like doing this tonight. Finished up a few hours of playing Elden Ring today and just looking for something to relax. This will probably be shorter than normal. Don't know how long it'll go on for, but Probably not a full two hours, my guess. Sorry about that before. I had technical difficulties where I forgot to double check stuff. Uh, audio stuff before I plugged everything in and started the stream up. That was my bad. That divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary White Wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard that name here too. Well, I suppose Shiranui's legend did travel across the Sea to Kanui. I guess it really resonates with the Oena because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isun! Hold on, I need to sit in my chair more properly, or otherwise my, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have some horrible back pain. Oh, Isun! It's been quite a while, so you're still alive. Uina Shaman, Tuskel. <laughs> I ain't ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip, that's all. Well, I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Laika? Hmm. The demons have shut themselves up in Ezofuji's Waoku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Kamui. We're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afun Gate. 
But when the day comes, the movie is sure to freeze over completely. That's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kemu noticed it as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing into Kamui. That's when the demons woke up, as if in response to it. Southern land? Oh, she must mean Nippon. In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, Ami. There have been so many monsters here in Kamui, that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking all this havoc in Nippon has its root in Laokai Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the root of Ezofuji. There is a large lake called Laokai at the root of Ezofuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because the Ark of Yamato that rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato... Anyone from Kamui knows that story. It said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. My grandpa used to tell me that story. Long, long ago, in the Age of Myth, an Iron Ark fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Laokai Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where gods is the land above where gods dwell. The gods are known as celestials there. The ark that the celestials were on came crashing down to this land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed until all the celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. It's said that monsters still rise from the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. <laughs> uh, that's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving Celestial of the Ark. Ooh. The Ark fell to this world from the Celestial Plane. And it was full of monsters, which killed the Celestials on board. But the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. First time I've heard that. They say the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark in Laokai Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. The Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamui, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. Now, if you've come all this way, am I to assume you have Kemu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yashpet, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less. But Ami hears another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed with the Oena Crest. It's our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, that I must comply. Shiranui, you may have the Yowena amulet. Sewa Prolo. that amulet, you can pass by the Yowena crest unhindered. And you can proceed on into Yashpan. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. You are the one who can find Laika. Find her before it's too late, and Kamui freezes over.
Not great. Thanks for interrupting my progress, game. Mysterious forest of Yashpet. The entrance has been sealed by the Arena Crest. They did that to protect it from the monsters and these parts. The force originally had its own power that kept them away. But I wonder if Yashpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. Let me... names up here all feel weird. They don't seem to have a flow or feel like they're all part of the same place. Like, hi, Samickle. Oh, new enemy. a bowl with a bee head and butt. Like Yash Pet, Wep Kir, Kai, Samikal, the Eastern Forest. An ancient, the ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yash Pet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. Waka. Hmm? Why, Amaterasu? Uh, not that half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, ma chérie? I'm still looking for you-know-what. This cold sure is making it difficult. Like we really care, pretty boy. If you're gonna be dogging our tracks like this, you better tell us who you really are. Who I really am? Sorry. Little hiccup there. That's right. I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excuse me, but I don't know what you were talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. 
You could say I am a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha! Now I know why you keep babbling on about a path to the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder. Then you'll take Ami's place in heaven. Huh? <laughs> By that look, I take it I've hit the nail on the head. That also explains why you keep turning up where, wherever we go. Path to the heavens? Ah! We're like a highway to you know what. You misunderstand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here, in the land of Kamui. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly Ark? That's right, in Kamui there is a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You too know this, do you not, Amaterasu? Hey, leave Furball out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir. I've been waiting for you, Amaterasu. Did you know that Yashpet means consuming forest? It is said that those who lose their way here can never escape. Sorry, hold on, I gotta get a drink. I'd open my water bottle. Even the monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long been entrusted with protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Oena Crest. Recently, however, the forest's power has been weakening, so it's hard to know what might be awaiting us inside. But if we can make it deep inside the forest, we'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Isu? There's a chance that Laika might be there. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready to go? Let's go for it. Let me warn you first. Do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree pollen here has the power to confuse beasts. We Alina can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in the blizzard and die out here. So make sure you follow me and don't fall behind. O oh, spirits of the air, earth, and sea, protect us with your divine powers. I'm just going. I'm booking it.
Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh. No, no, no. Shit, did I lose Kai? made it. Here we are. It's been a while since I was last here, so I wondered if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Amaterasu, this place is Josh Pet's little secret. Welcome to Punk Tan, home of the punk -less. I'm sure Isun will tell you a lot more about it. Ah. Anyway, Kimu sensed Laika's presence here, right? If we don't find her before the Day of Darkness begins, and she doesn't perform the Volcanic Incantation, Mui will freeze over for good. We're really counting on you, Amaterasu. This place hasn't changed a bit. Mommy, the Punkle Village Punk Tan is in this tree stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. Yep, mallet. Oh, hammer, whatever it's called. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, it's the lucky mallet. What's it doing? Don't tell me it wants to repay you for your kindness. Who knew tools could be so loyal? I guess you could visit Punk Tan if you were smaller. Ball for a ball? You gotta go in or what? I'll pass right now. You read my mind, Ami. How long do you plan on staring at the stinky old village, Ami? Don't tell me you actually want to shrink down and go in there. Yep. Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Laika. But you'll have to go in by yourself. I ain't going in there. This slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. This is Isun's home village, huh? Oh, 
Oh, I'm already healed up on the way. Wow, we don't usually get animals here. The trees in this forest give off a strange pollen. Most animals and monsters stay away because they don't like it. I'm lucky because it's kept their village safe over the years. There have been more monsters on the prowl lately, though. They're starting to come deeper and deeper into the forest. Even if it's small for a wolf, it has some strange markings. You don't seem to be a bad wolf, but it's all the counts. Hold it right there. Are you some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf if you get into punk time like this. We demand that you introduce yourself. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. This strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before too. Straight beat. Tiny Potter. Hey, you're a wolf. How did you manage to get into the village? Hmm, it must be fun playing about outside. I wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. All of us here are given lessons by the village elder, Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. I've got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like you soon, then I'd be able to help the gods.
What an unusual customer. I'd say, you're a god, aren't you? You hardly see any here these days. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. You want to play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Uh, actually, let me sell some stuff. So there's a house here. At least it looks like there is. small for a wolf, aren't you? And it looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. You're the first visitor in this village who isn't a punk. Head. My name's Mia. Nice to meet you. Uncle girl. Mia. You know, there was a lost child in the forest the other day. She wandered even deeper into the forest and disappeared through the spirit gate, looking almost possessed. The spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It's a strange gate that takes you to another place and another time. People say that opening the gate invites misfortune. We punkles always make sure we steer well clear of it. But when I saw the girl wandering deeper into the forest, I decided to follow because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open the moment she stood before it, and then it was like she'd been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the elder about this, Wolfie? Uh, no. Yes, you should. Where do you come from? We often go out to play outside the forest, you know. The world's too big for us, so we hitch a ride with some animal. The elder of our village once traveled around with a white wolf, and he defeated a really scary monster. All the Yoena tribe know that story. They started to call animals who carry punkles, punkle bearers, and they treat them with great respect. Oh, I missed the first bit. That's amazing! A wolf the same size as us! Hmm, it's all a bit suspicious if you ask me. How did you manage to find your way so deep into Yashpet? Even the Oena tribe can't hold out in this forest for long. Any other creatures die out there in an instant. Long ago, there was an Oena girl who got lost out there, though. She was on the brink of death, poor thing. One of our tribe, Isun, found her out there. He helped her find her way back to the edge of the forest. Hmm... It's funny remembering her after all this time. I suppose she must be all grown up by now.
Okay, I assume that one house I can't get into is the village elders. And it's also where I assume I'm gonna need to go. Hold it right there. I remember where I recognize you from. You look just like the wolf in the scroll at old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief, Ishaku? I thought so. And I suppose we better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, chief of the Punkles. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. He's old and has become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. Hmm? Hmm? I recognize that smell. Who's there? No, can't be. But I'd know that bark anyway. You must be... Ah, uh, Ami? Ami! It is you! When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail in my old age, but... But I can sense it. I can sense the tears you're trying to hide, too. Yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the Ami I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. That rudeness of yours leaves me in no doubt of who you are. I'm no longer the young boy you remember me as, Ami. I'm going to become the leader of full time. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman Ishaku. Legendary swordsman Ishaku. self proclaimed I've gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. I assume you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. Let me tell you straight, Ami. In your current state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. So tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh, well, never mind. It's no big deal. Ami, I'm sure you already know this, but in your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness. We punkles always knew that darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We punkles are the only ones who can communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a celestial envoy. I was the sixth celestial envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now almost all of them have what it takes to be a Celestial Envoy. So, Ami, take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the 7th Celestial Envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. People believe in you. Your powers are sure to return. Then... And only then will you be able to defeat the darkness. What is it? <laughs> Ignoring me again, are you? Doesn't matter, I can tell what you're thinking anyway. You're thinking about the spirit gate, aren't you? Only a fool will be interested in something like that. That loathsome gate invites misfortune, I tell you. If you open it, you'll be engulfed in a vile, sinister air. There's no reason in the world you ever need to open it. Anyway, it can't be opened without my trusty sword, Denjin Maru. Never mind that. How's your search for this first celestial envoy going? Must be hard to choose with all the talent here. What, is there something you want to tell me? Just for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. 
that no good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Hello, Wolf. Did you finish talking with Ishaku? Well, I hope it went well. He always enjoys having visitors. So come back and see him soon. Okay. Do I need to actually talk with everyone in here? talk to E soon. done yet? What? It looks like you want to say something. Spirit Gate? You telling me Lyco went through it? <laughs> You're as easy to read as a book. Well, I ain't gonna go in there either. It's nothing but trouble. If you have to go, ask that old man Ishaku to be your guide. He soon? Is that really you? Who's there? He soon. It's me, Mia. Hmm? Oh, Mia! So you finally come home! And I bet you become a real celestial envoy! Just like Grandpa Ishaku and everyone knew you would be! Well, why won't you come into the village? Oh, I get it. You don't want to go see him, right? Put a cork in it! What? And what's with this celestial envoy business? Give me a break! What good would it do to become something like that? I'd rather live happy and carefree. I can't believe you'd say that. So does that mean you don't paint anymore? We Ponkles are supposed to help people believe in the gods. Otherwise, the gods will remain forever powerless, remember? I said... Put a cork in it. If you like painting so much, go for it. You can count me out. Go hawk your silly ideas and harebrained plans somewhere else. Be soon. Go away. We're busy. We have urgent business beyond the spirit gate. What? Listen, I don't have time to help you with your boring old paintings. Let's get out of here, Ami. Isun, wait! Isun, are you really going to the spirit gate? Are you trying to find a little Owina girl by any chance? Come on, Ami, we've wasted too much time here already. Let's go already. all done with that village? Well, you're on your own if you want to go back in there. Now, let's get out of here. Inner Yashpet. Okay, Ami. Spirit Gate is further on this way. Even we Ponkles hardly go that far into the forest. Nobody knows when it was made or even who made it. They say that opening the gate only invites disaster, but I doubt we'll find any curiosity seekers around there. After all, no one but the chief of the Ponkle clan can open it. Plus, the road to the forest depths is like a maze, even more confusing than the part Kai guided us through. But if you're really bent on going through there, I'll be your guide. What's it gonna be, Ami? Okay, let's run full speed to the spirit gate. 
Now stick close to me, Furball. I don't want you getting lost. Okay, let's keep on going. me.
Okay. This is it. That big old hunk of wall right there is the spirit gate. when it was built or even who built it. All we know is that it's been here since the age of myths. And that's a whole lot older than even old man Ishaku. Uncle Chief's clan has served as its gatekeepers for generations. It's said that needlessly opening this gate only invites disaster. I have no idea what kind of disaster it might be. I'm gonna force this gate open. After all, we have no other choice if Like is on the other side of this thing. Stand back, Ami. Shit, it actually worked. Boy, old man Ishaku would have my head if he knew what I just did. Well, let's just keep this between you and me, Ami. Just look at that light. It's way too pretty to be anything that invites misfortune. What are you looking at, Furball? The door's open, ain't it? You have the guts to go on through it? If you turn back now, after all I've been through, I swear I'll... Hmm? Okie? Hello again, Isun and Amaterasu, was it? I thought I'd come and join the fun. I've never seen the spirit gate open before. They say opening it only invites disaster. What are you doing here anyway? How the heck did you get this far into Yashpet to begin with? Uh, you must be talking about this forest and power to confuse beasts. Indeed, the half-man, half-beast Oina should feel the effects. But it seems the sacred sword Kutone has kept me safe. This is no surprise, as the sword itself has driven me here. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, when Kutone glows silver. As the prophecy foretells, when Kutone starts glowing, it is a sign that the demons shall soon fall. What's more, some say that even the heavens will be within reach. The hex that's supposed to mean. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't even begun to glow. I must not have slain nearly enough monsters yet. If that's the case, the spirit gate should be just the thing. I'll give those monsters a misfortune a taste of Futone. Okie, okay, wait! We have no idea what's on the other side of this thing. All we know is Laika somehow ended up going through it. I guarantee you're gonna find more than you bargained for in there. That's what I'm hoping for. For the sake of Kutone. No, wait, Ami. Maybe this isn't such a good idea.
Hmm? This doesn't look so bad. What was all that talk about the spirit gate and misfortune? Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah, that's it. it looks just like Miki Village. Miki? You mean that tiny village in Shinshu Field? That's where the whole legend of Orochi began. I've never crossed the sea and set foot on Nippon before. The divine guidance of Kutone must have led me here. The monsters of this land shall now taste its cold steel. No, Oki, wait! What about Laika? It's gone. Oh well. Anyway, this really is Kamiki Village, isn't it? But I'm getting a different vibe from here. Hmm? That's strange. Why is there a full moon again already? Hey, isn't this where Sakiya's tree was? What's this stinky little seedling doing here? Hmm? Wait a second. You're some kind of god, aren't you? I'm a wood sprite. They call me Shakuya. Young wood sprite, Shakuya. What'd she say her name is? Shakuya? Sounds kind of familiar. Anyway, where the heck's Sakuya's tree? Shakuya? That's me! Yeah, yeah, we know already, kiddo. You grown ups are busy right now. Why don't you go off and play? Excuse me, God. Are you looking for me? Did you say God? Hmm. I guess the innocent eyes of a child can see the truth, Ami. Ama? Mama, Mr. Bug, and me, Shakuya. Let's be friends, okay? Mr. Bug? Better watch it, kiddo. What's up here? Let's go out of the way first. with growth Konohana. Um, hmm? What do you want with us? Hey, a Gramps still tearing up the dance floor, I see. But what happened to the sacred tree? It got so small all of a sudden. Someone put a curse on it or what? What are you talking about, you fool? I'm lovingly raising this seedling to bring peace to the land. It shall drive away Orochi and all of his minions. Orochi? <laughs> Where the heck have you been, Gramps? That sneaky snake's pushing up daisies right about now. If you don't have time for this nonsense, you fool. Year after year, you've come to our village to claim the sacrifice. And this time you've even learned to speak. Well, today's the day I say enough is enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down there, Gramps. We don't want you throwing out your back there. Silence, you foul beast. Today's the day I say enough is enough. Foul beast. Okay. Hey, a sweetie. How you doing? I hope you can cut that Susano some slack. You're so shy that. What was that all about? Shiranui. Hmm? Who are you? You want me to make Nagi, the greatest warrior ever. 
You're... Shiranui? You're still dreaming or something, Pops? I mean, greatest warrior ever? Give me a break. He brought along a little sized monster this time. Well, I have you now, Shiranui. You monster. Monster? Come on, Pops. Wake up. You must still be dreaming. What's with this Shiranui business? You're still obsessed with the past? Past? Stop speaking nonsense. Look at that moon. Tonight is the night when the moon waxes to its fullest. It marks the day when Orochi shall claim his human sacrifice. Orochi? Wait a second. The heck's going on? This sinister air. The trip Orochi must be stirring. How's that possible? Hm. Too late to feign innocence, Shiranui. We know you come each year to size up Orochi's human sacrifice. This time, things are going to be different. I, Nagi, I'll put an end to your devilish work. Orochi, Nagi. No, it can't be. Right, Ami? I mean, Spirit Gate couldn't have possibly sent us back to Miki Village 100 years in the past, could it? Uh-oh, you knocked him out cold. I wonder what's going on. I mean, he keeps calling himself Nagi. I thought he was Susano. And again, he looks just like the statue of Nagi in the village. Hmm, that vibe in the village and the villagers' reactions. And now this big old full moon. Now I'm positive. We really did go back to Kamiki Village a hundred years in the past. Get it now. Everybody thought Shirinui came to the village before the festival to size up the next sacrifice. They thought Shirinui was Orochi's familiar or something. So that 
That's why he called you Shirinui and wanted to fight you. Hey, wait a second. Where's the real Shirinui then? Ooh, I have a bad feeling about this. I just hope our coming here hasn't totally messed up history. Hmm? Look, villagers are all gathered in front of his house. Doggy, please come out. We need your help, Mr. Grapefruit. What does that kid have a flying thing, uh, like on a leash? Shiranui once again roams our village. It seeks to size up Orochi's next victim. The moon is at its fullest tonight. And the dreaded Orochi. The accursed arrow has marked the home of the Chosen Maiden. This will be the 100th Maiden since this terrible rite began. Must our village suffer such tragedy yet again? Or none. I think we'd end up having to send you to that beast. You have trained long and hard to slay the dreaded Orochi. I shall not lose faith. I'm not afraid to face Orochi in the Moon Cave. I know you will put an end to Orochi and this dreadful rite. I'm going to go change into the white sacrificial robe. Please, everyone, go hide in your homes. It is not safe out here. I'm sick of him and his antics. Hmm? Hey, wait. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea knocking Nagi out like that. I mean, what about the legend? You know, the legend says Nagi disguised himself as the maiden to be sacrificed, and then slew the dreaded Orochi. How's he going to do that if he's out cold right there? This is going to change history itself. What are we going to do? We'll have to look for Laika later. we got to think of something quick. Well, I guess we should make sure things go just like in the legend. That means we'll have to dress Nagi up like a maiden. Now then, where to begin? Oh, I know. Nami said she was going to go change into a white sacrificial robe. We gotta swipe that robe and put it on Nagi. And get him over to Orochi's place. That should more or less fulfill the legend. At least, I hope it will. Anyway, we better hurry before Nami takes off. Let's go swipe that white sacrificial robe. a sec. Look at that, Ami. That's Nami. He's bathing in the lake. And look, the white sacrificial robes there for the taking. Hey, what's with the glowing barrel of sake? Think it could be that eight purification sake? Down for a ball. 
Ami must be purifying herself before putting on the robe. Pretty noble of her, considering that Roach is going to gobble her up. I bet it's her devotion that made the legendary eight purification sake. But I can just get an up close view of her like this. Oh, fuck off. I. I. <laughs> fuck off, you soon. Anyway, this is our big chance, Ami. Let's snag her white sacrificial robe while she's busy bathing. You ready? Help! Someone help! Jernu is crawling about the village again. What the heck was that, you know? You gotta be more careful. Walk up slowly and silently. Once you're close enough, snatch the rope. Sacrificial robe is ours. Now let's get that Nagi into this thing. Okay, we got the robe. Now all we gotta do is get Pops here into it. <laughs> Doesn't he look pretty? Now Nagi can pretend to be the maiden sent to be sacrificed. This should be just like the legend said. Right, Ami? Not bad if I say so myself. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's take him over to the moon cave before he wakes up. After all, he's all dressed up for his date with Destiny. years ago. Hey, he's given a piggyback ride to the moon cave before. But it was that babe Gucci last time. The view, not to mention smell, was a whole lot better then. Fuck off. I'm not sure I'm liking this whole going back to the past business. What the... Oh.
Moon Cave entrance. All right, that is going to be it for. Uh, Hold on. Hold on a sec. What happened? <laughs> the game crashed. Well, okay, I was gonna call it. I guess I'm gonna do that either way, but... Let me make sure the load is... that it loads properly. Okay. I think I'm good. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I reload that save. And I do 15-ish uh, minutes over again. All right. So that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll be back tomorrow night with Halo Combat Evolved. So till then, uh, everyone have a good night and have a good Monday. Bye-bye.